two people will know, and that's it. That's all it needs to know. That's, that's, so, if you want to know, you can give us five bucks a month on Patreon, <laughs> <laughs> and then you can see what's happening. And then you can really know that. Yeah, the super secret knowing shit. The super secret uh, method behind uh, our podcasts and our recording. But uh, hey, guys, we're the Ungodly Geeks. Yeah, I'm, I'm Joe. Luke. See, so, there we go. Yeah, we're, you know, that's it. We're the perfectly intro. in sync. There we go. All right, moving on. So I'm browsing Facebook the other day, and I see one of those uh, yeah. like clickbaity, not clickbaity, but like one of those stupid share things. Yeah. And it was, what would you rather go to? You can either become a wizard at Hogwarts. Right. Become a Jedi. Right. Um, become a, uh, be able to bend any element from, uh, like be on, be able to bend one element from Avatar. Okay. Or, um, shit, one other one that I can't remember. It wasn't as interesting. So it was, it's, it's one of those multi-form image macro yeah. things where it's like, oh, what, what would you rather be, what universe would you rather be a part of? So that sort of thing. Yeah. Which yeah. power, which ability would you rather have in that? Okay. okay. And I was thinking, I was like, that's really cool. And my immediate answer is Jedi. Right. And then I thought about it. I'll get fucking wiped out. <laughs> yeah, no, and not 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 to mention it's like uh, the the whole like strict religious overtones of the Jedi don't yeah. don't really mesh with me as a person because I'm just like I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it didn't specifically say you have to go train as a Jedi, but you know, it's all it's kind of implied with the right, way yeah. it was worded. I mean, it's implied with being a Jedi, period. You know, so it's like I don't know about that. But being a wizard at Hogwarts, I'd have to skip out on that. Too. Oh, yeah, because they're all fucking dying, too. Yeah, like, everyone dies at Hogwarts. You know, Snape kills Dumbledore. What what, what else do you want? And if that's a yeah. spoiler for you, go fuck yourself. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, what Let's is it? Going. What is it, like, eight, ten years now? That's, that was me. That spoiler was going around the day the book came out. Yeah, I come on. That. Come on. <laughs> People driving. That, this is the douchiest thing. I don't ever recommend it. Like, if... It'd be, it'd be the same as if you were waiting in line to see Infinity War and people walk out going, ah, fucking Spider-Man dies. Yeah, like, Thanos, like, Thanos wins. He wins. Yeah. Like, what the fuck you? It'd be like crazy shit like that. Like, want, you don't want to believe it, but at the same time, are these people fucking telling the truth? Like, are, are they, spoilers yeah, are, they, are douchebaggy. But that is a way, that's like, you can't avoid that. Mm -hmm. You can avoid the stuff on the internet and just don't use it. Yeah, just stay off the internet or stay off mm -hmm. of places where you would see spoilers. Like, I, I managed to avoid like 90% of Infinity War spoilers. Despite the fact that I knew someone who was retweeting Infinity War memes before the fucking movie came out that <laughs> were spoilery. I don't know how, but I, I fucking managed to do it. And it's like, yeah, I don't I don't know how... Uh, I, I don't know. Back to that topic, though. What yeah. would I... Would, I'd like to be a Pokemon master. Oh, that was the other one. Yeah. I, Pokemon. Uh, that's would usually rather, the other one. That's would you rather be a Pokemon? Yeah, uh, that's usually the other one. I, you know, I was thinking the same. Like, it, it, if that means the world has Pokemon, uh, if it's just like the Pokemon world, cool. Because in, if a Pokemon were just in our world, that is DEFCON 0 uh, world ending annihilation. Yeah, I mean, Because Pokemon are fucking retardedly powerful. Yeah, I mean, you got you, you, you got Mewtwo who can just create thunderstorms. And yeah, you've got like Pokemon like Magmar who walk around as a living sun. <laughs> yeah, like like forty six hundred degrees Fahrenheit. You can shoot magma out of his asshole. Like, yeah, what do you do to that? You know, there's just fucking giant dragons who they got to eat something. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna eat you. By the way, yeah, any like literally anything. The food chain gets all fucked up at that point. Yeah, no, there but is. What I mean, no, if it's a Pokemon no, universe, it's no longer yeah. a food chain at that point. It is a <laughs> food massacre. Just everything's dying. Yeah. Because, I mean, the, the chain, no, fuck the chain. It's like a food web, and yeah. everything eats everything else. But, and if you go like, oh, well, it's just our animals, but we have Pokeballs for them, that's boring as fuck. <laughs> that's retarded. <laughs> Everyone's running to the nearest zoo and just chucking Pokeballs at the lions and tigers and shit. I'm going for the Komodo dragons, man. Yeah. Fuck yeah, no, I'm, I'm going I'm going to go tame a Komodo dragon. Giant man. poisonous, that thing is a Pokemon. Yeah, it is. A giant like, poisonous lizard that will fucking eat anything. It has, its bite is poisonous because its breath is really, really bad. Yeah. Like, that's the reason, because it has halitosis to a level that your uncle cannot match. Mm. So it's like, okay, whatever, man. It's, that's cool. It's fucking, it's horrifying. Oh, what, what was the other choice you said? I was. was I like the Bender one was pretty good too. I I, I don't think I'd mind that. Yeah, that, like I'd be. I think I'd be cool with like a water or fire bending. Yeah, I was looking at the comments. The first, maybe not the first comment. One of the top fucking comments was like, oh, "I'd be the Avatar. I would bend all elements." I'm like, "No, no, no. 
That's not the fucking. That's not in the. That's the not the conditions, buddy. It says you get one. You get one. <laughs> you get one ability. Not not yeah. two. Not three. You get one. Fuck. You get to bend one element. Not not multiple. So no, you don't. So yeah, I'd I'd, I'd have to flip between fire or water. I'd still probably take. Uh, oh, if I was just choosing between those, I'm going earth. Yeah, Earth is really cool. Earth bending is just so. There's like the the that show. I give that show a massive amount of credit, and I guess the books because I didn't read the books, so I have no idea. But the amount of creativity they get into with earth bending, yeah, is like like air bending was kind of strength. Fire is fire. Yeah, I mean, uh, water's fire, water's pretty I think interesting the, too. See, for me, the fire thing would be the ability to control lightning, which for some yeah. reason I'm just obsessed I don't with think lightning. They could control it though; they could just do it. Uh, I mean, Azula could could summon she lightning. From it. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, I mean it, that that is awesome in and of itself. I mean, Iroh himself straight up said, "You cannot control lightning." Yeah. So I was like, "Okay, no, I get it." But uh, yeah, like like straight up, I I I I have to go with fire just because of the lightning element. I'm a huge. I, I love lightning, yeah. and I don't know why I hate myself for it. No, lightning's fucking awesome. This, yeah. That's that's one of my uh, favorite RPG characters I ever created. Was just a, a heavy metal. Dude who threw lightning. Yeah, so you can turn into electricity. Fucking, you know, not to mention you know, Thor and his hammer and the yeah, god Thor. of lightning, god yeah. of thunder. Fuck yeah. That was man. the inspiration for the character, actually. Uh, that and uh, Static Shock. Yeah. Static Shock was cool as shit, man. Like, yeah. I remember no, that no. shit. I grew up on that. Fuck yeah. Lightning's awesome. Like, if uh, the waterbenders, like, they can freeze shit too. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, they have control That's over ice. Awesome. Earthbending is really cool, though, because you can bend metal. Yes. Once you get, if you're if you're as awesome as Toth. Once you get, well, I mean, it, it's it's sort of a level of of realization. Like, oh, I mean, this is this is earthy. It's technically Earth. It's yeah. just in a different. Uh, it's just in form. a different form. Yeah. So I mean, she fucking bends Earth. She, she Took bends. Her a while uh, to figure it out, and then she did. Then she bends that little uh, that little fucking bracelet that they had of uh, meteorite too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's kind of neat, you know. So, so I'd like to try and burn the Earth that didn't come from Earth. <laughs> yeah, like basically she – so it's less that she's an earth bender and more that she's a rock bender. Yeah, she's a – yeah. Yeah, you know, like like she doesn't bend earth. She bends things that are rocks. That are made out of uh, – I don't know what, what elements – I dude, I'm. I, I, They're fucking. They, I, they could go deep with that show. I feel She's like I feel like one I sh- ripping water out of people. Yeah, no, the blood bending. <laughs> My God, that was creepy. I mean, that is like the ultimate move, though. It's just I take all the liquid out of you. You immediately die. Yeah, like what are you going to do? Immediately like, shrivel like, and like, die. Moreover, she uses all the liquid in their body to like just shreds them or something. Yeah, or like, the blood. Yeah, it's like it's like um, Magneto with uh, Wolverine. Yeah, you just I rip. just fucking rip all the adamantine out of you. I it literally just tears you to pieces. I feel like they they made that they either did it on purpose or it was a huge plot point and they decided to take advantage of that that they what? made adamantium magnetic in that. Like, um they they eventually like in the the excuse is Magneto is not magnetic, it is all metals. So even if it wasn't magnetic, which I think it is. Um, it doesn't. Net Magneto again going against his name. Ben, he controls all metals. Yeah, then they need to change him to Metalo or something like yeah, that. But like, that sounds on. really stupid. And DC yeah, well, already has a Metalo. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like it's all retarded. But like you can't call a character Magneto, which implies that his, his okay. ability is ma- controlling magnetic fields. But now, now, if you give him to a, po- if you say that he's powerful enough to the point that he can generate earth-shattering magnetic fields. He can. Fine. He because flipped the at earth's that po- access at, at one point. At that point, <laughs> you, can, you can move yeah, magnetic anything. things that are not magnetic. You, know, you yeah. can use, like, I mean, it's one of the four forces of the universe, so obviously it's very powerful. But, um, I mean, yeah, like, we, we can use powerful magnets to rotate strawberries. Yeah. So, I mean, fuck it, why not? I love that. Rotate strawberries. We've done science! Yes, hooray! But yeah, no, he does some... Magneto gets, like, he... he at some point, uh, I didn't haven't read it, but I was told that he uh, mind controls people by messing with the magnetic symbol... Uh, magnet, like, the, the electrical element, the signals in, in their, their head, brain. Yeah. No, the, the electrical signals well, in their brain. Well, that would involve messing with the... Whatever. The, it's the just... The elements of the brain, which are made of a lot of, of metals. Like, yeah. there's iron, there's iron and magnesium. So he, and they like do... That. They, yeah. Uh, in, it's comics. They do some crazy, crazy shit. I mean, it's comic powers. They... Yeah. It doesn't matter. Everyone's a merry fucking Sue at this That's point. That's why I almost, like, if you have that list, uh, Jedi, Bender, Pokemon Master, Wizard... Fuck Wizards. Um... I almost take like can I be X Men? Can I choose X Men? Because then yeah. I then I have like a, a huge choice of powers. Hey, let's let's all be Jubilee and put on a fireworks. Yeah, show. we can shoot fireworks out of our hands. Woo! 
Like that is such a useless. I'm sure they probably made her really powerful later on. I mean, because they evolve. Eventually, mutant powers evolve and get like crazy awesome. It's like she's probably like shooting nukes, but still. She, 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 you know, I, I wouldn't doubt it. There's a storyline where she beats Thanos. I'm, I really hope there's not. That Squirrel like, Girl, Squirrel oh Girl God, gets to yeah. be the ultimate powerful character in Marvel. Not too. Yeah, late. you beat Thanos. I, as a watcher, can verify that. I want to punch you in beat, your uh, face, Doctor Doom. Doc- well, yeah, she beat Thanos too. Did she? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, she really did, and that's that's where. Yeah, I'm a watcher. This is the real Thanos, not a fake one. Like what? No, no. I remember seeing the panel. Uh, it was posted to. I thought that various- was, well, I know that's the real Doom. The question was, is it really Doom? I mean, maybe she beat Thanos too at some yeah, point. There was, but, there was a. There was a there but was the a, whole, uh, the whole, this is the real Doom was the thing because they go through and retcon like a shit ton of fights where teams beat Doc Doom and they're no, 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 that was a Doom bot, and it's like, oh, okay, and then the <laughs> one they didn't retcon was Squirrel Girl. Of course, she fucking beat him by summoning just an army of squirrels. Yeah, like she, she. Oh my! God. That's <laughs> every how time wins. I kill one, four more show up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Squirrel Girl, man. Oh, my God. So funny. That's so retarded. Like She's going to be in... I don't remember... It's a, I think it's a TV show that's coming to FX or something. Squirrel Girl was announced to be in something that's supposed to come out, I think. Oh, that sounds so stupid. Like, I, no, I think just, it, just they were doing, down. like, no, lower no, bad, class mutants bad. or something like that that, okay. that were going to be in something. Squirrel Girl. There were other characters mentioned. I was like, oh, my God. Let's fuck it, do it. Let's let's see how bad this could be. It sounds like the plot to a bad B movie. I mean, it can't. It can't, hopefully can't be as bad as um, Inhumans. The Inhumans ended up being. Yeah. And, oh my I, god! I'm, like I'm, a one percent. It's one of those things where like I want to I want to watch it just to see how bad it is. Like I want to play Duke Nukem forever just to see how bad it is. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't care to. Yeah. Uh, like that that that's like that's that's kind of what I feel right now when I think about oh man I should go do that. Because I, you know, I, I bought Big Nukem for five bucks. Yeah. Uh, in humans, I'm sure I can find a way to watch it. Yeah. It's like I don't want to. Well, what, what I find funny is, a like I maybe maybe it wasn't ever supposed to be, but in humans when it uh, was conceived and when they started talking about it, they uh, the it was it's a part it was supposed to be a part of the uh, Marvel MCU. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Um, it it's maybe well, in fact, similar to like maybe. Well, well, didn't it start off as a movie though? Like, they yeah, were, it they was going to be a movie, they and then they decided movie. to make the uh, the series. Which honestly, for some properties, that is better. Like the X Men oh, yeah. shouldn't be a movie. I think the X Men needs to be an HBO series or a Netflix, a Netflix series. series. Yeah, it, it Something needs, that you have more more time because, to develop. Yeah, because there's 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 a lot more to go over with the X Men. Lots of characters. There's yeah, lots of stories. Of, yeah, yeah. It, there's way and, too much conflict. And then like you just, could you could like book note it with. Either your 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 two hour long season finale, or like legitimately a fucking movie, that would be more interesting to me. Yeah, I mean, I think that could work a lot better. Like how yeah. they're taking the approach to season eight of Game of Thrones, where every episode is a feature length movie. That's interesting. That's crazy to me. Well, like but yeah, also, like take that same kind of formula that Game of Thrones has applied so far. Just do that. See, with I don't know. I don't know if that specifically will work. Maybe oh. it'll work for Game of Thrones because that's a very limited thing you can do. Right. Uh, also, I don't know how. How how long you want to sit there watching? Unless it's really really done like a movie, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know how long you want to sit there watching a TV show that's not broken up into episodes. But we'll we'll see. It's interesting. Well, I, mean, I think they're it, it's broken up. It's into made episodes. for binging. It's just each episode is a fucking feature length. Well, movie. that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but I, um, yeah, no, I don't think. I mean, I, I think just the hour long, or even like the half hour, forty five minute long format, yeah. I think it would work really well. And like, there's so many story arcs that you could tackle. That with X Men, oh my you, can, you just can't do. You just can't do in a movie. Mm-hmm. Like I don't really feel like you could do Phoenix in a movie. I think you could do the. You could do Phoenix like in a two part movie. He, yeah, but I mean, I think you could. You could the two part would be perfect for it. Right. But uh, it's the sort of thing where you need a lead up, like a yeah. whole series, yeah, and you, then you could do Phoenix as the movie. Right. Uh, but I mean, he, but with a to be continued style thing, where the next series still is like the Phoenix saga. Yeah. Because it shouldn't just end. You yeah. know. No, I mean, there's just just too much to do there. It's it's why I wonder with Inhumans. Um, I wonder if there was plans for that to maybe not interact, maybe not be a. 
uh, maybe like cameo type stuff with right. um be like a, with Infinity War. Maybe more. Or was a, it supposed to be like Infinity story, War Part like, Two? Or like a nod, like how yeah. Clint and uh, uh, Ant Man got their they nod. Got in the kind movie. of a nod, yeah. But I mean, Netflix, like even the Netflix series, hasn't gotten any anything yeah any uh, nods no, or anything like that there hasn't been any mention of the defenders hasn't been any no, mention of, of, of any of that so yeah yeah like the closest that they've ever gotten was in like i think um the captain america either winter soldier or uh yeah i think in winter soldier they might have mentioned that there are other metahumans out there like that's as close as they've gotten to mentioning which by the way metahumans i hate that name so much I like metahuman. I like metahuman. I like I like metahuman when it's not also being used for mutants, right? Uh, because I think they're two should be considered two separate things. They, I mean, because they, they completely are. Like, yeah, metahuman yeah. is someone who was human, one hundred percent, and then had something done to them, yeah. or had something something affected them. Mutants are completely. They're like a separate. They are born they're not, that way. Yeah, they're yeah. not human technically. Or, or they're, in they're some, evolved. Or in some instances, or created that way. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, created that way, where you know metahumans like a little bit different. But I, bit, I still yeah. I like I like metahuman as a term. <laughs> I, <think laughs> I, just I just think it's sciency and perfect for uh, <laughs> what it's being used for. Like I can't I couldn't come up with anything else. Like uh, I mean, you got a point there. Like I I don't think as much as I dislike the word, I I know yeah. I couldn't replace it. Like, yeah. I know I couldn't come up with something. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll call them Hufflepuffs. So like, whatever. <laughs> you know, some dumb shit like that. They're, Let's have they're, their... they're enhanced beings or some shit like that. They're, oh, I hate that. That's the kind too, of stuff yeah. they'll come up with. Yeah. They're enhanced. They're enhanced. Or like enchanted. Some weapon dumb X. Shit. They're all Weapon X. But they're they weren't a part X. of that program. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck it. We're retconning all of that. We're calling them all Daredevil was Weapon X. Yeah. God. Oh, man, no, no, don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't take any of these ideas seriously. They're terrible. Don't do it. Yeah. But, but whatever, man. I, I don't know. I'm kind of just, I, I wanted, I want to know if like there's something on a cutting room floor or something that was written in a script that was taken out because that bombed so hard or like in like the, the next, the next Avengers, the fucking, uh, uh, whatever the fucks were supposed to show up and like help fight Thanos, <laughs> and they were like, "Nope, that that did not work out too well." Yeah, George. just Captain Marvel. That's it. Which, by the way, I mean, I think that's. I don't know anything about Captain Marvel. Yeah, I know nothing about it. About her, her. I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So fill me in. Let me know. Oh, I see. I know very little about about Captain Marvel right. except for a couple of storylines. Um, I know there's. I think it's her. There's some weird storyline where she falls in love with somebody that goes back in time. It's really fucking weird shit. Falls in love with Cable. Falls in love with somebody that goes back in time. That's technically her son. Oh, that like it's weird. And then like it's kind of rapey. Back in the future type shit. Almost. Where like Marty McFly. No, no, no. Not like not like he goes back in time and like has almost fucks his mom. Some weird. It's it's this whole weird storyline. Um, and then I know I thought I think. No, no, no. That's that's just DC had Captain Marvel was a, a dude, but like the, that's the really the only thing I've read, and I think that was from like a cracked article. Oh, <laughs> other than other than knowing that Captain Marvel's just she's, um, I know she kind of in the comics sometimes takes the lead of the Avengers, right? Which I think is one of the reasons that they're bringing her in in a big bad way, right? Where the she, I really do think she's going to be the central character. Her and Spider Man will be the central characters moving forward. Right, yeah, I mean, um, but, I mean, Homecoming did so well. Yeah. And they they that partnership's working out, so they definitely want to keep running with it. And they yeah. definitely need to make up for the pile of shits that Sam Raimi gave us, especially Spider-Man 3. Ooh, okay, I won't say not Sam Raimi, but Spider-Man 3 was garbage, but if they need to make up for Amazing uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man. The first Amazing Spider-Man I thought was all right. It was okay. I mean, I, mean, I enjoy but... It was one of those things where it's like Justice League, where it it, it was entertaining. Yes, in a way, I could like, see like that, you, yeah. you you could have fun with the movie. Whereas, um, I, oh, I, the second one was just I, bad. I don't even remember the second one. Like I can't, like I blanked it out. I thought the most interesting fact, thing they did was that they put Gwen Stacy in there. Yeah, and it's like you know she's gonna die. But the way they did it at like, and then he like gives up, but then the teaser of oh no he's back he's go fight the rhino and the movie ends go fuck yourself. 
Was that wasn't Paul Giamatti the right? Yes, and I was so you know fucking what? excited. I remember because that because I wanted to see. I could not wait. His accent was so terrible, but it was Paul Giamatti pushing so hard for it. I was like, "This is going to be amazing!" And then all he got was like five seconds in the beginning where he's just screaming, driving a truck, and then ten seconds at the end where he's screaming, driving a rhino suit, going to smash a child. And it did. It just. That he might have been the best part of that movie. <laughs> that's, that's like, the because uh, like, like, sure as shit wasn't Jamie Foxx. Oh no, I mean Jamie Foxx is fantastic. <laughs> He's I, great normally, dude, but why him. would you have Jamie Foxx play a fucking nerd? Well, yeah, like like, an, like I got the vibe that he was autistic. He, uh, I mean, something like, like he was like, supposed really, to be on this. I mean, he was f- completely friendless and very like introverted. Yeah, but and but, then but he loved Spider Man after he saved him that one time. But like I I really did get thought the, he was the best friend. Well, yeah, oh, cre- creepy. I mean, but I, I really do get like the autism. I I I felt like there was autism there. Like he was I on mean, the they spectrum were somewhere. That, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if that was the intention of the character. Or that's just the way Jamie Foxx played it. But either way, <laughs> it was kind of weird. It was the the whole weird affection for Spider Man, yeah. like because and not oh, that yeah, I'm you're hating, my best friend. Not that I'm hating on anyone with autism. If you got autism and you're you're kicking ass in life, fucking go for it. Keep going, please. But you know, it's it was weird because I don't think that's the way the character was supposed to originally be done. I think I I think it almost. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It, it's almost like sort of a. I don't. It's just. It was weird the way they decided to go about making the character obsessed with Spider-Man. Yeah. Because I got the whole, he's he's friendless, he's very introverted. Right. Uh, and then he gets Which, these powers, I mean, I can and Spider-Man's to. trying to talk to him. And I thought the way they used that of, like, oh, you don't really remember me, you're not really my friend, and then he gets more pissed off and, yeah. you know, is then is, like, destroying shit. I was kind of like, eh, it was just bad story beats. Yeah. <laughs> When he was doing that and he was going through that whole thing, it, it, it that was one of the cooler it, scenes in the movie, though. When Spider Man's I mean, flipping cars, it was yeah, it was beautifully shot. It was really well made, but it, the scene fell flat with me. Yeah, beyond well, the whole like movie fell flat with me. Oh yeah, of course. Like I said, Paul Giamatti was the best fucking part of the movie. God. He was in the movie for twelve seconds. I mean, he fell in a tank with electric heels, and that's why he got superpowers. <laughs> oh, I just remembered that. Why? So why, bad. Why do you do this, Luke? Electro was it? Electro or the show? Yeah, no, that was Electro. Yeah, no. The Shocker was in um, technically kind of in um, the new one, uh, Homecoming. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was because he had the sh- kind of gl- Shocker gloves. Yeah. I I kind of hope that, that that dude comes back. And the uh, yeah. scene in the prison, the teaser makes me think that he will. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't know. Like, like I've. <sighs> I've I've forgotten so much about what happened in, in Homecoming. Yeah, I should buy it. I should buy it too and watch it again. Mm-hmm. I'm de- I know I'm definitely buying um, Black Panther. It drops on the eighth. Yep. So I mean, I can get on fucking Voodoo in 4K. So I'm like, yes, finally a fucking Marvel movie dropping in 4K digital that nice. I can buy. It's like, did uh, did Thor Ragnarok not drop 4K digital? I uh, you know what I don't remember. Okay, because that would be the one I would get. Like Black Panther, I love that movie. Uh, it's pretty great. Um, but I like. The visuals and everything else in Thor Ragnarok. I want both, but yeah, I, yeah I, I, Thor Ragnarok might have dropped in HD I, in UHD. I have no idea. Yeah, I bought. I already have the Blu-ray of that. Watched it the other day. Still, that movie fucking holds up. It's that, great. That movie is fun. That that that's a funny movie, and it's also visually appealing, and it's got great action too. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, I I enjoyed that flick. Um, you know, I, I mean, I I enjoyed the fuck out of Black Panther too. It's very visually stunning. And... Black Panther, I think. Like, I've been I've gone back and forth with it now. Um, and like where I would put it in the Marvel universe and it's like, it had easily until Thanos. Cause I think they're about equal. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe a little bit more of a nod to Thanos just because he's a big, bad universal threat, but it easily had the greatest Marvel villain and the entire storyline behind the villain, his reasonings for being the villain was bar none the best out of any Marvel movie. Oh yeah. I mean, easily. However, all of the movie around that was literally just by the numbers Marvel. Yeah, pretty the much. The villain was, he's his powers are the same as the heroes. Yep. Um, like, everything that happens, the stuff that they do, it's like by the numbers Marvel. It's good, 
there's that's not na- a huge na- knock to it, but it's almost like Ubisoft, where it's like they they just it have wasn't, they have their formula yeah, and they follow it. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't different enough. Where like Ant Man differentiates itself in yeah, being no. a heist movie. Yeah, like the, um, the way I would describe Ant Man, it, it's basically a, a heist movie with a Marvel with a flair or yeah. a Marvel a Marvel layer over it. Um, like Winter Soldier is right. a like conspiracy spy movie with a super soldier in it. Right. It, it's got it's got the um that's the way I described Elder Scrolls online. It's it's a shitty generic MMO with an Elder Scrolls exactly. rapper. But it, in, in this, this case, case it's a positive. It's a good thing. Yeah, it, where it's a it's a fun heist movie with a Marvel rapper on it. Or like yeah. you said that one's a spy movie with a Marvel rapper on it. And like we said before that's one of the things that makes the different Marvel movies great is when they differentiate themselves. And I think that's almost the thing that was kind of missing from Black Panther. Plus I I it, it being a sort of origin story like yeah. you, you there's a lot where they had to go into you know showing you the war like showing you Wakanda and showing right, you all right, this, right. introducing a lot of stuff which while very interesting um I can't put it up there on the same level as like Civil War and yeah I mean uh, Civil War like was Civil War Ragnarok. was fucking straight into oh, yeah. all the cool shit all that happened the shit and you wanted to see it, yeah. it was like Avengers 2.5 it was all the shit you want to see yeah um and finally you're seeing it all happen plus introduction to spider-man and, and black panther himself in that movie was yeah yeah that, great that's where that's where yeah that's where they brought so, him into the MCU. it's it's kind of like where i'm like okay i'm not as high up on black panther as i was i get the hype i get all of that i completely understand like i said i still uh, love the two movie. weeks or last week my one of my friends like he's like no seriously this is a movie that hits, you know, so hard for being an African American in, you know, in America, and then all the stuff they talk about in that movie, and I was like, I, I completely, like, I understand, I completely I get, get you. that. That, yeah, no. that hits you where something like every other movie, I, I can feel like a part of, and I was like, yeah, no, I get that, uh, and you know, no fault that movie still, it's still uh, it, one of the top. It, when it comes to you know, like black movies, it's mm-hmm. it's the movie we need more of. Yeah. Because, I mean, you look at all the black movies, they're all black exploitation. You know, like all the Tyler Perry All the shit. classic ones, yeah. All the Tyler oh, Perry those, shit, yeah. too. Like, it's all stereotype shit. Oh, um, yeah. The, just garbage. It's, yeah, it's just, it's just, that's how it's funny. They play yeah. off stereotypes. And that's the same thing. He has that same, that same theme throughout all his mm-hmm. movies. You got, and, and he even I'm sure the next one will be Medea Becomes a Superhero or some garbage. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just wrote the next uh, fucking Medea movie. Yeah, you did. Um, Thanks, Luke. The black bad. community frowns on your shenanigans. I'm sorry. I, I'm just I'm just here protecting shit. <laughs> God damn. But uh, yeah, Please no, I, I I honestly it was great. It's why Black Panther two has to happen. Oh yeah, no, I, I mean, which is why some shit has to happen in Avengers four. <laughs> I, I I you know I'm curious to know like I want to see mm-hmm. and I know it obviously won't happen for a really long time. Yeah, because we got a year before the movie drops. Yeah. What is the name of the next Mar- the next Avengers movie? I think they'll announce it sooner rather than later. Right. But it will probably be I honest to god, I think the movie cuz it's going to be a sp- the one they didn't want to detract from this movie. Right. Cuz they didn't want to they probably don't want to detract from Ant-Man and the Wasp or from uh Captain Marvel. Captain If that does that come out before? Yeah, it comes out uh like uh this Avengers I meant, you know what in, I meant to look up before uh, we It's in May, May whatever, May yeah. 19th or whatnot. Um, whereas Captain Marvel drops in March, apparently. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, so yeah, it, it, that's the, the, the next two Marvel movies, at least when it comes to the official MCU, mm-hmm. um, it's Cat, Ant-Man and the Wasp, which comes out in July and then, uh, Captain Marvel, which comes out in March. And of course we got Deadpool coming out in a couple of weeks and yes, we are going to go see Deadpool and Deadpool oh, too. Of course. Like, uh, oh my god! I can't wait for that. I didn't read the article, but I just I know I saw the, uh, um, thing, uh, the, the an article that said uh, Fox made Ryan Reynolds drop a Disney joke <laughs> from uh, Deadpool two, which makes me sad. But I, they've got a lot of other jokes. Like even in the trailers, they've dropped the joke about fucking are you are you, you're so dark you must be from the are you sure you're not from the DCEU. <laughs> But like I was, I was so looking forward to him being like, "Oh, now I gotta pay to my overlord, the mouse, or some shit like that." That would be pretty fun. I mean, there are, there are a lot of good jokes that get that get cut from that movie, but uh, it is a little disappointing. But I can kind of understand where Fox is coming from because you know 
Disney's in the process of buying them. Yeah. You think that's going to get approved? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I think more and more. Like, there was there was a little bit of time where there was some, like, maybe it won't happen. Congress might blah, 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 And that was gone after, yeah, like, a week. Uh, which, obviously, that's the news cycle. There was more things to talk about. There's always something crazy to talk about in the White House. Yeah, but it's like it's but, like that. It's like, it's but I would expect that. that to come back again. Yeah. Um. I honestly think it's it's going to go through it because it simply is their entertainment uh, uh, team. Right. But now they're talking 2019, 2020. Right. Would be when, or maybe it's 2020 is when we could start seeing properties show up under Disney. Right. Which still, I mean, at that, you know, that's 2020, you got maybe 2021, we actually see movies. Which, I mean, I'd be um, okay with that. I mean, yeah. yeah, I just, I want, I want there to be a redemption for like the Fantastic Four. Oh, totally. I want there to be a redemption for the bad X-Men movies because there's so many of those. It's like, yeah. give us, give us, come on, Disney, redeem I'm these so, properties. It's part of the reason I'm a little sad that it's coming out. They they've still got a ways to wait. I'm sure it'll be great when it does if it does happen when it happens. But um, like I would have I I would have loved it. Would have been so amazing to have the Fantastic Four or Silver Surfer or something going into the beginning of this phase. Right. And I you know I mean at the same time that take away a little bit from like Captain Marvel, which is I think the like that's the the beginning like that's the big thing for this phase right is right. captain marvel and spider-man right so you know i kind of understand that but like man i still wish because captain the fantastic four has so much amazing shit i, I mean that the was, x-men have so much amazing shit that could like and the fantastic four that, that was one of those shows that i grew up on so like you know yeah i remember the fantastic four show it's like i want that to be redeemed you yeah. know because i mean I didn't watch the last movie at all, but the first one was just what is this shit? What are you guys yeah, doing? The, the the second movie, in there are parts that were better, right? But in generally overall, I think it it's hard to say if it was worse or not. Like, like I liked Doom in the second movie more because he was Doom the whole time, right? Um, like I don't know, man. That's just, it's ugh. it's hard to go back and forth. The 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 whole thing with their powers, like changing and combining and doing weird stuff was dumb was but, that in uh, the second one that was in the second one oh yeah. my god i don't know if i remember that i think that was one of those series that like i gave up on those after movies. the first one. Oh, they're, they're, and yeah, then, and then they and then they made up then they make they made two more though right like there no. were three fantastic four movies weren't no, there there's just two are you sure there was the first one which was uh they fight doctor oh well i mean they there was the reboot yeah, that's what I'm the talking re- about. Yeah, I, d- I, I didn't see that. Oh, you were talking to... Yeah, I forget that movie exists. Okay. That's how much I didn't dislike that. It was the Silver Surfer one I was talking about. Yeah, yeah I, no, I, mean, I, I forget I the reboot was a, exists because it was yeah. such a cash grab, such a not finished film that I was like, no, why would I waste my time? See, that's what I was thinking of. Like, I know there was the original Fantastic Four, which had Chris yeah. Evans as the Human Torch. I remember that. Then they did Bryce of the Silver Surfer. Yeah. And then they did a reboot where they had uh, Michael B. Jordan as the Human as Torch. As the Human Torch. And like, those are the only reasons why I remember them is because and they there had is literally notable, nothing else. No. They had like notable actors in yeah. those roles, and that's the only reason why I can remember the reboot happened because I'm a huge fan of Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Like, that dude... I, I don't care what he's in. I'm going to watch it. When Fahrenheit 451 drops on HBO, I think later this month, I'm going to be watching the fuck out yeah. of that. In fact, I think it actually dropped the second, but I, I don't know. I don't fucking remember. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, like, dude, that's the only reason why I remember those movies. And I, it was one of those things where after the first movie, being a huge, being the fan, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Fantastic Four, but I enjoyed the show growing up. And mm. I remember, you know, being a kid and, pretending that i was one of the fucking fantastic four members because you know you do that when you're a kid yeah and um i i i love the fantastic four and i went into that movie i it was just like no what the fuck are you doing this is terrible yeah come on y'all and it's one of those things where i know i saw the movie but i can't remember any of it and honestly i think i prefer to keep it that way oh, okay What's up? Yeah, I, I've just Captain Marvel's March, and then uh, April apparently is Shazam, and then the Avengers in May. Oh, Shazam! Oh, I've completely forgot about Shazam. Yeah, which Captain Marvel comes out before, right before Captain Marvel, aka <laughs> Shazam. I love that whole thing between them. Uh, I completely forgot about Hellboy. That's oh, yeah, coming the, out in uh, December uh, er, um, oh, January. Yeah, the, the Hellboy reboot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that. He Holy looks shit. so fucking awesome. Does he? Uh, I've yeah, not David seen Harbor. 
uh, the pictures of him, he just like I love the two Hellboy movies, um, and Hellboy looked awesome in those, and he's still like they, man, dude, that's like great. dead on Hellboy Ron Perlman almost. Right? Yeah, he looks he looks similar. But at the same time, like a little bit younger, I guess. Honestly, if you were to in show, the face, if you hadn't told me that you that was just looked at, that's wrong. Oh, that's that Ron Perlman. Yeah, because yeah. I'm conf- like that's how good it is. Like, yeah, that's how good he looks. Looks a little darker, I guess. A little bit. That, that could just be the light. Well, of too. course, it's made to look darker. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's a dark movie, yeah. though, right? Yeah. It's suppo- It should be like that's the cool thing. I've read a little bit of Hellboy's comics. I buy them so you like uh, like um, uh, like second hand at a uh what's that second hand bookstore oh uh, um, half price books yeah half price books right, i yeah. bought a couple from there like uh hellboy in the wild hunt and it's dark where i mean like it, it's dark fairy tale type stuff um which is cool yeah it's fucking awesome and then but hellboy is such a humorous character and it the the humor in it is so fucking good. He's definitely really sarcastic. Oh, in like super, the best super of ways. sarcastic. He takes the piss out of every situation. And then like there are moments like I, I think I've said it on this podcast where they show him growing up and he's like uh he's doing different things. And there's like a fucking four star general and he's like, Here, try this. And it's pancakes. The Hellboy's like, I don't like this. And he's like, serious. He's just, no, try it. It's fine. He takes a bite and he's, he's like, I really like pancakes. And then it switches to a scene of hell. And it's a demon going up to Satan going, my Lord, the boy has tried pancakes. And Satan's just looking up in the, like kind of up to the sky and says, truly all is lost. <laughs> and all the demons are crying. <laughs> Sounds absolutely ridiculous, it's great. and that's, I love it. That's the way Hellboy. It, Hellboy's a great fucking comic character. That sounds just that. It's one of those things that sounds really dumb, but yeah. in a way that is amazing. Oh yeah, it's it's humor. It just it takes the it takes. It's kind of almost similar to the Marvel way. Is you have some serious stuff happening, and then you have like the perfect moment where they undercut it a little bit. I, and that, it's not always. But okay, I have a question. Yeah. Why are pancakes like feared? because pancakes are amazing? Because why would he want to come back to hell if he's tasted the amazing, amazing thing? That are is like pancakes. pancakes ambrosia in hell? Or I mean, something? it depends. I, I mean, maybe the writers really love pancakes. No, no, no. The fact is that Hellboy would never want to go, you know, make hell arise when he's had something as delicious as pancakes. I mean, <laughs> are you saying the demons are incapable of making pancakes? Yes. Is that what the fuck? The demons do not have pancakes. <laughs> But you could take over the earth and have pancakes. Nope, because it'd be destroyed. The knowledge is there. Because it would be destroyed. There are no more pancakes. (laughs) Man, that would be pretty terrible. Like a world, I I don't eat any of that shit anymore, but a world without pancakes, I don't want to live that world. I do not want to live in that world. That is, (laughs) that is a negativity I am not ready to bring into my life. Yeah. Straight up. No, not, not happening. No more pancakes for anyone. Yeah, no, I could never do that. It's like, it's like, it's like, all right. I, I, it's like being someone who doesn't care about guns, but wanting to ban them for everybody else. Like, no, don't be shitty. Yeah. Don't do that. Or like wanting to ban, like, I don't know, people buying red shoes for some reason. It's like wanting to, you know, ban something that makes people happy and feel good. Like, I don't know, marijuana. Oh yeah. <laughs> because it's as hey. bad as heroin. Yeah. These are fucking is. God. I, I don't. I, if there wasn't so many lobbyists <sighs> behind alcohol. The amount of bullshit that alcohol does compared to marijuana or fucking uh, the fact that they created the opiate uh, epidemic that we're I mean, going I just, right now. I just gave myself a headache, man. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine <laughs> being that out of touch with not like just, just general life, like not even reality. Like you, you're, you're out of touch with how things yeah. st- I can't even formulate how stupid I can't describe. That is the insular. Uh, well, it's the insular nature of um, that generation. I whatever, man. Let, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no pancakes are awesome. Pancakes that's, are that's amazing. Why I can't wait for Hellboy. That's that's combine gonna be good. combine marijuana and pancakes. I'm sure some. But you take uh, hemp butter or whatever it's yeah, called. I know how to make. I know how butter. to make. I know how to yeah. make it. So let's do it. I, I, I mean, I've tried it a couple of times, and it's not bad. When it was fresher, it was better. Yeah, got me. When it's Pretty fresh, it's, it's great. Yeah, when it sits in somewhere for two, two or five years, kind of loses its effectiveness. I mean, 
I think at that point the butter is probably bad. <laughs> yeah, probably. Not more you don't have to worry about the weed being bad. At that point you have to worry <laughs> about the butter being bad. <laughs> like uh, butter's not meant to last for a few not years. For, not for years. I mean, I, I I think you can freeze it, but you risk separating yeah. all the goodness, so it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. I've I mean, never tried freezing it. And uh, I, man, I was I was talking to my aunt, uh, and she's taking my grandmother to um, Colorado to see her sister. Right. And I was like, hey, if grandma's not doing too well, go get her some brownies. She'd probably <laughs> feel great. And my aunt's like, right? I'll probably get myself some. And at that moment, I was like, fuck, man, I want to go to Colorado. That's when you look at your aunt like, you think you could uh, bring me some brownies? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, because that would be... I don't know if they're driving or flying, but either way, it's... I mean... There are I, cops that probably... I, can, I, I I don't know for sure, but I bet there are cops that sit on the borders. Yeah, the but at that point... state lines I mean, and just watch you, for any reason to pull somebody over. Yeah, but are you really going to pull over a couple old white ladies? I don't know. That's... I mean, uh, that would be... If I was transporting drugs, that's who I'd have transport my drugs. Exactly. Are you going to pull them over? No. Like, no, of course not. You're going to leave little old white ladies alone. <laughs> and the fact that they have brownies, you're not going to think anything of it. Well, oh, they like, just brownies. That's what but they're, they're, they're coming out of Colorado. Yeah, so. but, but old white ladies are known for just baking shit. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, I don't know, man. Oh, kind no, of, I just made these of... brownies. I brought, got these from my sister. <laughs> She's not wrong. Yeah. Well, you know, whatever, though. Knowing my grandmother, though, she'd probably look at the officer and be like, fuck off! <laughs> what are you pulling us over for? What do you want? It's like that Nick Sforgen joke where he's like, when I get old, I'm just going to steal everything. Yeah, I'm going to steal everything. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm old. Are you going to throw me in jail? Yeah. I'm going to die soon. It doesn't matter. I'm going to die. Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's good shit. Marvel, that's what they need in the MCU. They need like old an old, ladies? an old white lady with superpowers. No. Yes, yes. Just old lady with superpowers. Yeah, an old lady. Okay, an old lady. Yeah, it doesn't have to be an old white lady, but like an old lady with superpowers. Like, just come out and be like, have like fucking, I don't know, some something crazy, like cause earthquakes or fucking have earthbending type powers. Where uh, she just like lifts her cane and hits the ground and a fucking like arc of stalactites shoot out of the ground and smash into somebody. I mean, why not? You know, fuck it. I think the, they have Jubilee. Why can't they have that? Exactly. You know, I'm like, sure they're old mutants. It has to be, right? Like, I'm I mean, thinking, Logan's old as dicks when he dies. There's a, So there's a new Marvel property that's going to be coming out as a movie yeah. Um, eventually. And I think right now all they've done is announce it. And I was talking to somebody about it the other day. I can't remember the name of the property. It's not the Inhumans. Um, it's something like the uh, – the, it's not the Immor- – maybe it's the Immortals. It's a cosmic um, – Right. Group. Right. And I know it's like kind of like DC's New Gods, I guess is the best comparison, where they're just way out there superpowers and just really crazy, interesting characters. Um, and that's going to be the I can't remember if it's a New God or one of these where there is like an old fat lady is one of the uh, one of the heroes. Um, I'm sorry. Um, no, it's all good. Fucking Reddit. Like Big Mama or some shit. Like I signed that. into Reddit. Because I'm looking for a thing. And I go to check my own profile page and Reddit makes signs me out and makes me sign in again. Yeah, because Reddit is sometimes stupid. Come on, y'all. What, what, what What's going on, Reddit? <laughs> Get your shit together. Yeah, but I wish I could remember. I, I think it's, I think she's a, uh, I think she's a DC property. It's like Big Mom or something. She's a giant fat woman. You know, that makes me think of Borderlands 2 and Motor Mama. Yeah. Oh my god, like like she is massive and <laughs> it's just incredible. Uh there was a today I learned that I saw that was like, oh that was so cool. And it was about an actress in Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Um I, I, I wanna see her name because I don't wanna just uh but it was it was within the last like two days that I've seen this. Fuck I've been pretty sure it was within the was last Was it day. one of the uh she was 88 years old when she started her acting career. She's 91 now. Oh, she's one of the leaders of the uh, tribes? She, she was No, she was uh, oh. someone who advised T'Challa. And I could have swore, you know... Well, his mother was... Well, his mother advised him. She was like a merchant lady who uh-huh. advised him or something. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go to IMDB page. For Big Barda, her. that's who I was thinking of. 
Um, oh, that's not her. <laughs> Oops. That's not quite right. And Big Bart is just a really tall chick. No. Yeah, there's like a fucking Big Mom or something like that. There was apparently a mini TV series of Black Panther. I did not know that. Um. So, Wait, uh, what? Yeah. Like on in the works, sir? No, 2010 was when it was released. For Black Panther? Yeah, TV mini series. Oh, it's animated. Okay. Well, of course it's animated. I mean, if it's going to be something like that, you have to assume that it's... it's um, yeah. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, she was really, it, like, it was one of those things where you're looking at, like, oh, that's really fucking cool. <laughs> um, I think her name was Dorothy. Now you're just going to hear it. Yeah, Doroth, uh, Dorothy Steele. She was a merchant tribe elder. Uh-huh. And she was 88 when Jesus. she... Jesus. Yeah. Um... They saw her audition tape. Like, who's this old lady? We need this lady. <laughs> like, we need her now. Like, that was one of the things where she sent her into her uh, her tape, and they were, and Marvel X were like, "No, we need her." Yeah. So yeah, she was the she was one of the merchant. Like, she was a merchant uh, tribal. That's daughter. good. Yeah, she was eighty eight when she started her career. So she was in like the conference scenes. I'm guessing. Uh, then? I, I guess so. Yeah. Um, she was in two other movies: Saints and Sinners and Trouble with Going Somewhere. So that's right. kind of cool. That's I've never, cool. I, yeah, I've never heard of those movies. To be honest with you. No, yeah, there's a, quite a few good actors who didn't like get their start until they were quite older. Yeah, but E8, man. I mean, that's that's, that's way amazing. up that's, there. That's nuts to me. Like the the fact that she was, like that's that's really fucking cool. Like I'm not even, I, I can't obviously be mad, but that's just amazing to me. Like it's mind blowing that you could be. That she was that old when she got her three years ago. She got her fucking acting yeah. start. She was 88 years old. The uh, speaking of old. The character I was thinking of, the, the DC New Gods character, yeah. that it's even better than I thought. Her name is Granny Goodness. <laughs> she just looks fucking crazy. That's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I, fuck, I wish I could remember the name of that property that Marvel is going to be coming out. Apparently, its main character is going to be... And the thing is, like they, I, they're they not called the Immortals, but I know they're like that. They're like Thanos-level strength, and there's just a bunch of them. They're like Celestials or something like that. And um, they're just like super fucking powerful i don't know what the whole what they're gonna do or if they're gonna interact with the uh main marvel universe it sounds like they're gonna be separate like the um guardians were at Mm -hmm. first right but uh the lead character is supposed to be this uh super powerful woman with like shoots bright beams and stuff like that yeah so i mean that'll be that'll be pretty cool you know what I always like is when I go to a website I've never visited it anymore and it says I have 99 plus notifications on part, some part of the website. <laughs> it's like, I have never visited your website before because I don't live in Atlanta, Georgia. So yeah. what, uh, you're a local news station. How do I have 99 plus notifications? Well, you, that's every one of their – you've not read all of their uh, <laughs> yeah, apparently their I, articles from fucking who knows how long. Um, I know what the internet was a thing as far back as what 1970s. <laughs> yeah, so you haven't been reading their articles since the 70s, um, so and maybe sorry. before that, because if their news organization was around before that, hey, you never know. Huh? Whatever, man. I, I yeah. I, this this website, by the way, that I was looking at for uh, the dates for the new superhero movies, yeah, has a uh, glass <laughs> listed on it, which is the sequel to uh, Unbreakable. Really, M Night Shyamalan movie. Is that actually happening? Oh yeah, it's happening. Like uh, they finally went. And we got we get getting Sammy back. Yeah. All right. All right. Is I, Bruce I don't coming back? Care. I think it's okay. Stupid I don't. As fuck. I don't remember Unbreakable. Yeah. Bruce like, I, I know I saw back. the movie and it was actually okay. I mean, I, yeah. I enjoyed. I mean, it, I don't hate Unbreakable. Right. Um. I didn't. I, it's not a movie. Like I saw it and was not like. I was. I mean, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't someone who would at that time watch a movie that wasn't an action movie or horror right, movie right. or a comedy and be like entertained by it. I mean that was that was pretty actiony. In a sort it of was a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean it had its moments. But yeah, but I, I still was like I didn't I didn't really care. Yeah. Um and the uh the fucking the way they introduced it as the teaser at the end of that other movie, the the one with the dude with twenty seven personalities or whatever. Oh um oh yeah the uh, yeah, I know what you're the, about. the M. Night Shyamalan movie that was actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what the hell was the name of that? God, it's on the tip of my tongue. I don't uh, care. Yeah, but um, uh, that 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 was interesting, the way int- they introduced that to be this. Well, that's kind of neat. Um, I don't know. 
I might go see it. I, I I remember sort of enjoying Unbreakable. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know, but uh, yeah, Captain Marvel is definitely before Avengers: Infinity War, and then right after that is the Spider-Man: Homecoming sequel. Supposedly, I, it's it doesn't have a set date, but it's supposed to be in 2019. I, I you know I, I really do want to know um, how are they going to handle the events of Infinity War in uh, Ant Man. I see. I I thought now, I read uh, something or heard something just the other day where they mentioned the fact that what are they going to do in Ant Man um, that is a prequel to Infinity War because it takes place before. But the amount of time I still say that I'll be really disappointed if. The, the thing that happens in Infinity War doesn't happen like at the end or some point in Ant Man, or at least get teased. Like right. I mean, he's having it's a happy ending, and then like his fucking daughter does like fades away. Oh god, don't that'd be that. so fucked up. No. But I mean, that's that's like what that it, it should be in it should be it affected somehow. You know, I mean, yes, yeah, I mean, I know we talked about this last yeah. week, but I want to, I kind of want to, I want to touch on it again yeah. because it's like, like. How, how do how what when when is Ant Man happening? Like when is the Wasp part? Is this is Infinity War after that? Is it before that? The Ant Man and the Wasp right now, for sure, starts before Infinity War. Right, and uh, I mean possibly a good amount of time. Uh, my thing is, I think part of the reason I think it needs to happen, and I don't know if I said this last week or not, is we just saw Infinity War. Why would we care about the events of this movie if something crazy isn't happening? Right. I Which mean, is why it really needs to focus on being like the first one where it needs to be a X movie, like a heist film or like a yeah. suspense or where, a fucking where, a comedy. Maybe right. maybe it's comedy is what they're going for. Basically, it needs to be its own self-contained story. Yes. Yes, um, yes. But it, with, it, well, with, it needs to have something very different from being a superhero movie. Well, like, like what I'm thinking is like, like you look at Ant Man, you look at the original Ant Man. Like we said, it was a heist movie with a Marvel rapper, but it was its own contained story. Yeah, there were hints to other events that would, had been happening. Yeah, yeah. Call the Avengers. <laughs> right. But it's like there, there was nothing beyond those yes. little, those little hints that tied it to the MCU. And that's the way I think they needed to go with this movie. Is that there totally. needs, there needs to be, it needs to be its own self-contained thing. Actually, needs, but it needs to be made clear that the timeline it's in, or on the, obviously it's in the same timeline, but like the the, the time frame yeah. rather that it's in, um, it has to it has to make it clear that. Oh yeah, this is before Infinity War. If yeah. it is before Infinity War, if it's going on during Infinity War. Which I don't know why that would matter. I don't know why. I guess it would be a thing because, you know, New York's a pretty big place. So I mean, it would kind of be interesting if, like, in a chase scene in this, you see in the background um, a cape go flying by, that carrying would be really uh, cool. Yeah, carrying a Doctor Strange or something like and that. And you see, you see, like one of them look like, "What the hell was that?" Yeah, like I mean, hell, maybe they could do something like that. That would be that would be really neat. I think this is going to be like a chase film. Right. Like a lot of this is going to be, you know, just running, which is kind of the whole point is they have to run from the government and there's this whole other stuff. I also think that there's those little hints like the thing with Doctor Strange. Right. And seeing the future and this is the way it has to be or this is the only way. Yeah. Um, yeah that, and that's Captain the one... Marvel coming in. Right. And possibly Gamora and the Soul Stone and possibly um, the, the all the little things that may – those are maybe the – the uh, the thing that'll help beat Thanos. I think that in this movie, Ant Man and the Wasp are going to touch on the uh, micro whatever they call the uh, when you go super super small. Oh yeah, the the, the yeah the suit the nano. Well, even more when they go into that uh, quantum realm. Oh, the, I oh, think yeah, the, the quantum, quantum realm, realm. There might be hints in this that link it to possibly how they would beat Thanos and reverse some things from happening and or maybe even alternate dimensions. I mean, that would which be is something Marvel hasn't really touched on. Like, fuck it. It's I mean, yeah. like the ultimates or something like that. I mean, I do. Yeah. Like an alternate dimension type thing would be kind of neat. And I yeah. do know that it's a thing. In oh, Marvel. totally. So, I mean, that would be kind of cool. I think, but, I think, uh, I think quantum, the quantum stuff's going to be super important in this movie. And that would be the thing to get me to go. Okay. That is something semi comparable to, half the population of the universe dying. Yeah. Because that sort of stuff is literal end of the universe possible. I mean, pretty much, yeah. I mean, I mean if you, you've broken physics already. So. Yeah, I, and and that's big, big deal to sit there yeah. and 
I can't even go into that. Oh, the science is so off in the movies, but yeah. at the same time, I think the quantum realm stuff is interesting. I think right. that that could be its tie-in to why it matters, I yeah, guess I mean, is the best way to put it. The, the science in that is something I'm going to have to let go. Oh, you have to. There's I mean, no there's no thought. There's like, no like, like, thought like, I, I'm almost like Neil deGrasse Tyson, except I don't want to ruin things. I, I, I'm i glad like, that like, I'm not the kind of person that thinks too much during movies. Like um, uh, uh, A Quiet Place is a good example. If you put too much thought into some parts, it's stupid. Um, even Infinity War. Why doesn't Thanos just double the food with the Infinity Gauntlet? He's got the, the thing that is the most powerful thing that can do anything. He could literally just go, and the planets are twice as big! I, <laughs> and then there's no population issues. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that introduces its own errors, though. Oh, I'm sure it does. But maybe not increase the planets, but increase uh, all food production. There's no more hunger in the universe. Well, I mean, that also introduces... By... A, I mean, it's... It, it, his solution... He's a douchebag for the sake of... Well, it, like, no, 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 no. Like, his solution is probably the only one that would actually work. Temporarily, um, and I mean, temporarily, it's sure. horrible. But but du- okay, like, doubling the food supply though creates a massive wealth imbalance. Um, sitting there doubling planets in size would well, create no, a that that huge... one I'm saying is a joke. That I mean is a joke. That would be, but incredible. no, seriously, that would be could, the worst thing he could do. He could even just make it so there's no there's no issue with food. Like I don't know, there's there's a lot of different things you could do with the Infinity Gauntlet that don't involve. I'll just wipe out half the population. Uh, yeah, work. I mean, on top of when you when you think about it, he's not wiping out half the population unless he calculates very well. Because how many planes are in the air or spaceships, you know, for different universe, different planets? How many planes are in the air that just okay, lost? Okay, okay. But the thing is, I, I think that uh, none of that applies. None of the calculation stuff applies. Oh, I know because none he's, of the science applies he's not, either. He's not it's, it's, just, it's, it's a thought of kill half the people in the universe, yeah. and then the Infinity Gauntlet goes okay, and it, it just oh, executes know. the command. It just kills half the <laughs> yeah. people. Like that's all this it is does. What I'm doing? Yeah. It's, it's the it's the it's that whole thing of don't think about it. Or <laughs> there's too much that Thanos' plan is, <laughs> rides on. Thanos' plan was stupid. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> Straight why he's, up, that's I mean. why he's an asshole. He, yeah. He's going for the, uh, yeah. But uh, the easy way, the, the easy way out in the most horrific way. <laughs> but uh, that's why I think, I really do, Quantum Realm is going to matter. Yeah. I, I'm glad. I thought Captain Marvel, I don't know why I thought it came out after Infinity War Part 2. I'm really glad to hear that it's not. So we oh, get yeah, her no, backstory. No, no. no. no it gets, find it out gets, why she doesn't show up in, like, Avengers or age of Ultron. yeah i mean you sit there like we're so deep into the mcu now like you have this this really powerful character yeah where has she been what what at what point did nick fury go nah i don't need to use this communicator yeah and what's the excuse like is like, i made the joke to one of my friends like is she the um uh the uh not brawny she like the is she just Oh, only if it's that big of a problem can we call her the whole the the invasion of the planet Nah, that's not. That's not. That's not her problem. <laughs> you know, I I think that might be a little bit her problem. Yeah, it's like no, no, no. You People have a call hole. her for this. You have an interdimensional hole opening up above New York City, and you have beings pouring out of it that want to kill space em- whales. All. You have space. You have giant metal space whales that yeah. are just d- near, damn near indestructible. But you don't need to call. Them. You don't need to call. No, them. but don't call her. We we won't call her. No, we'll just form the Avengers. Like, what? How is that your plan? Yeah. She's the she. It's not a brawny mess. We're not gonna call Bra- the brawny superhero. We're not gonna call Superman to come fix up, clean up this mess. Basically. Fucking, yeah, basically, that's what it seems like. No, no, no. We'll get, we'll get fucking like Aquaman and like uh, the Flash. They can clean this up. They, they'll do with this. Yeah, no, they'll it's like they'll, and, and totally then the fucking the, it's a world ending event, but it'll be fine. And then you get the fucking do the the fucking. Robots that are gonna drop a city on the planet and destroy everything. Nah, don't call her. No, that's fine. I, but they, they can handle this. But he steps out of a car, looks around, and goes, "Oh shit!" and immediately calls her, not knowing what the fucking problem is. Yeah, you just got people falling to ash and vanishing. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, oh, it's whatever. I guess it's time to call her. Like, I guess it's time. <laughs> it's, it's, the fucking hole with the things pointing out that they're, that are overwhelming the people. You were going to start a maybe. Maybe in the movie she'll specifically say, and hey, if in the future you ever start a team, don't call me. I don't want to be a part of a team. (laughs) 
That's why she's not a part of the Avengers until now. Okay, fine, whatever. It's still stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Nick Fury's like, fine, I won't call you if I have team. I'll I mean, call you if but only if half the population of the planet is dying, then you can call me. <laughs> I, you know what? If she gives that specific fucking, I'll, yeah. be, I'll be, you know, fine, whatever. I wonder if she's like, it maybe almost like Green Lantern style. She's just a space cop. Yeah, maybe. Because I, 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 I don't know much about the characters. So I don't know shit about She just about goes the around in the universe and does space cop things. Yeah, maybe so. You know, Galactic Patrolman from Dragon Ball Something Super. like that. Just, ah, use, <laughs> most useless fucking thing. Seriously, dude. Yeah, and he's like, he wants to take pictures of himself with villains. It's That's like, so great. What is wrong with you, dude? Um, or like, I, 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 but that brings up the, but that was like Xandar's thing. Yeah. The um, oh fuck, what were they called? I have no idea what referencing you, what you're referencing right now. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, okay. the Xandar. The um, what was their force called? Oh, I can't remember. It's a, in, in the comics, he's a character. Right. But uh, it hasn't shown up yet, I guess, technically. Oh, because he had... Nova. Oh. Nova Core. Nova Core. Okay, yeah. yeah. Cap- Nova Prime. Nova... Yeah, Nova Prime, I think. Whatever. Captain Nova. Whatever the fuck the character's name is. Uh, I, I Maybe that guy will show up eventually. <laughs> I mean, uh, one of the things uh, our, our manager brought up when we were talking about it, mm-hmm. uh, what about Adam Warlock? Oh, he's he's in the series. He was the teaser for um, Guardians 2. Adam Warlock, that's Adam Warlock's, like, cocoon thing. They're creating the perfect being. That's Adam Warlock. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, he he mentioned that Adam Warlock's one of the few people that can go toe-to-toe with Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, Adam Warlock's really fucking powerful. That's good. Uh, And it (laughs) depends on what he's... Like, there's levels to Adam Warlock where, like, he can't take on Thanos at this point, but he, you know, gets a power-up or something, and then he goes toe-to-toe with Thanos. Oh, uh, yeah. He he took the gauntlet from Thanos at one point in the comics and takes and uses it himself. Right. Uh, And I think he goes back and forth from being a hero to, like, a a villain, Uh, anti-hero type of character. Sort of like like Deadpool, how sometimes... Yeah. Just less chaotic. Yeah, less because he feels like it and more because... (laughs) He's kind of, I think he's like more ambivalent or something. Uh, I don't kind, know. Kind of more uh, neutral. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. He's not, he's not like, a, he's not justice for justice's sake. Right. That's Would, where I think I, somebody I was talking to about uh, Thor has um, the Stormbreaker. Yeah. Which is, um, oh fuck, now the character uh, 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 Thor, but with a horse head. I uh, no idea. Um, <laughs> I didn't know there was a Thor with a horse head. Oh shit! Is it just called Hor? No, it is not <laughs> called Hor. Um, but that that character, that's his hammer, and now Thor has it. He was in. Well, he's kind of teased. Though, Axe. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. He was teased in um, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, the one of the heads that's on the palace. Oh, okay. For the. Uh, I don't remember. The leader's character. I can't remember. Oh, Grandmaster? Yeah, the Grandmaster's okay. like palace thing. One of the heads on there. Oh, you had to say, was it Jeff Goldblum? Because hey, yeah. he's basically Jeff Goldblum, but blue makeup. Because, I mean, that's exactly who he is. He's, <laughs> he's Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that's who he is. Which is, if you watch the special special features, oh. um, it's... I need to. I really... Oh. He, it's totally... the uh, that's, that's exactly what they wanted. It was, <laughs> we want Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> as this character like this character just to be jeff goldblum it's uh, the special features are great uh but beta ray bill fuck i forgot his name but yeah beta ray bill is uh he's he was created somehow yeah. and he at first he thinks he's thor uh, and eventually he he is he fights thor realizes he's not but he is like his whole mindset is like the embodiment of justice right so he goes around the galaxy and does thor stuff and his weapon is Stormbreaker. So it's kind of like I it, somebody was like, I'm really mad, you know, now that Thor has Stormbreaker. The likelihood of Beta Ray Bill showing up is like non-existent at this point. So I was like, yeah, kind of. It, it sucks because Beta Ray Bill is a fucking interesting character. Mm. Um, and he w- was one of the people that should he should have been there on um, Sakaar and fighting the Hulk instead right, of Thor. Right, yeah. But uh, I, I'm like... I'm kind of on the side of, yeah, but I get why they didn't. Yeah. Because one, he has very similar powers to Thor. He's got a fucking hammer axe sort of thing. Um, and he is a dude with a horse head. 
So it'd be a little bit weird. Granted, I mean, there's lots of Guardians characters that look weird, too. Like, you I mean, have yeah. a talking raccoon in a tree. <laughs> so It's a fucking tree. You could, you could, they could have done, they could have done uh, Beta Ray Bill, but I, I don't think we'll ever see him. Oh, well. I don't know who that is, uh, so I don't feel any loss. And this chick Marvel character. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to cut it off there. Yeah. We, we've talked for over an hour now, and we hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, there's a lot of cool shit coming down the pipe, really, is, I think, kind of what the point was. Yeah, no, there's just, there's just so many cool things. There's a mm-hmm. lot of just things we want. Yeah. And that was just some of the talk about it. And uh, what are we expecting? What are we what are we wanting to see? And, what, you know, I want to see hints of Infinity War in Ant-Man. Yeah. I really Ant-Man do. and Captain Marvel are, like, Captain Marvel being a prequel is really interesting. Yeah, no, I Seeing mean. Seeing the 90s. That would be kind of neat. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to go and cut it off there. Make sure that, you know, you follow us on our uh, our Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Instagram pages. I don't know if I'll be using Instagram, to be perfectly honest with you, with the yeah. whole Facebook data breach bullshit going down. I, I don't feel okay with that, but uh, I still use Twitter a lot, so I'll, yeah. still, I'll, you know, I'll still post There'll there. Be Luke, stuff. Luke still posts Posts on Facebook, so we're good there. And, of course, you can always get all our updates on oh, what's going Discord, down. Oh, Discord, too. Yeah, we got Discord. Come and chat with us on Discord. Um, and of so course, I saw you in there, Bell Soros. You haven't said anything, Dan. You dad, you jackass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I mean, come on in. You know, all those links are on ungodly, ungodlygeeks.com. So go ahead and head on over there. You know, yeah. Click your link of choice, maybe yep. a couple, and uh, come join us on. Like you know, Luke said, come join us on Discord. We're we're there. Yeah, we do. We we say dumb shit sometimes. Yep. You know, you can get us in a, in a distilled text format instead of these <laughs> these ear bleeding voice formats. All right. All right, guys, for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Fuck Warner Brothers.